To my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our last day of sneak peeks I always get sad at this day because it seems like we like we do all these fabulous projects all week well I think we do them all the time but I love doing them all in a row even though it's a lot of work but it's so much fun I'm um, just leading up to the big release I'm so super excited about this next one this is another one that when I told you I went to that scrapbook expo a couple of months back with my design team, a couple of my design team members, we were looking at all the banners and we were thinking, you know what, we need to come up with something super duper cute. So again, this is another thing we discussed over lunch. And after drawing, I remember I said on my last video we drew on paper. We didn't really draw on paper, we drew on napkins. <laughs> and then this is what what came up out of all of that. Isn't this adorable? These here, this set we are all um, showcasing today is called Build a Banner Kit, okay? This is basically gonna come with uh, stamps and dies and I will go over all of the specifics with you tomorrow in our video, um, which will be, our release is at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so be ready because I have I have a surprise for you too. So I'll go through that in in un momento. <laughs> so anyways, this is my card that I made with this set. Isn't this super adorable? I used my favorite ghost in the whole wide world. This is my favorite one from an, one of my favorite cartridges, which is the paper doll dress up. Anyways, isn't he so cute? I love this. I had actually um cut them up in white, cut them out in white cardstock, and I used this new, I got all the new Tim Holtz um, ink pads, and look at what my son did for me, isn't that cool? Um, it's, this is called Stormy Sky, and I went ahead and I inked them up with that, and I thought he came out adorbs, so, so cute, and then I used um, my all-around Halloween set to put the little webs in the spider, isn't that so beautiful? And then I use the bat. There's a background stamp that comes with the dot with these, um, and I use the hound's tooth. Okay, I am so addicted to this now. So what I did, all I did was instead of the orange paper that I layered on, instead of wasting all that ink, I only um, stamped it in the four corners, the with this hound's tooth, um, the little patterns that come with this set, and I just thought that was perfect. Isn't that so super duper cute? I'm so super happy with this one. Okay. That's the first card, and then, I don't know, I'm on this little tote mission here. I am going crazy over these little totes that I had just ordered from Peachy Keen Stamps. Isn't this adorable? Super duper cute, okay? What I had did was with, this is um, the other die that's in there as well, the little banners. Now just in, just in case you're wondering, these are one inch wide by one and three quarter inches tall, which is a perfect size, I think. Um, so what I did was I went ahead, these are iron-on jean, like little patches. Let me see if I see them right here. Here they go. They're just these right here, little patches, okay. And of course, I didn't iron them on. I actually hot glue gun them, hot glued gun them down. But I suggest if you're gonna make anything like this similar, even like you like with the tote I made yesterday, if you're gonna put any kind of material on, especially if you're giving it as a gift, definitely I recommend sewing it on because you don't want it to fall apart. Okay, but I'm not a sewer and I don't mind gluing it on. Um, and if I give it as a gift, I'm just going to tell them they could return it and I could fix it for them if it comes apart. <laughs> so anyways, this is what I did. And isn't this so cute? God, I love this. So what I did was I just cut, used my die um, to cut out the little, um, the, the little jean. Um, ran it through my cuddle book. And then the little circles is also another die with it. Isn't that perfect? That's felt. And look how beautiful the stitching now, I do have stitching on the banners, but it doesn't really show up too well um, on this because it's just so dark. Now, you could probably see it better here, but I used a lot of dark ink. See the little stitching? So there is stitching on the banners and on the circle, but not on the little star, just so you'll know, okay? 
So, just in case you think that the stitching's missing on the stars, it's not. That's how they came out. So, I didn't use a star on this one. All I did was I kept it simple, used the little banner. So, I call this the boy banner, and I call this the girl banner. So, basically, and you could, you don't have to think of it that way. <laughs> you could do it however you want, but that's the way I in interpret them. And then I used the little circle. But look at how cool the felt comes up with the little stitching. I ran it through a couple of times. And then these... Little images are from Game Night. Remember the um, the set? So these images as well as this. Remember the set we sne we did a sneak peek on Monday with? So this is the little cards that I designed. And then the little sentiment says, Play the hand you're dealt. Okay? And remember the little cards? I went ahead and I got another set of cards and I wrapped it up again. Now, you don't even necessarily have to wrap it up in here, but I did anyway. You could just throw a set of cards in here plain. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. And I'm probably going to make more of these bags and they will be getting plain because I ran out of that material. So anyways, this is the little tote bag. Perfect for a cute little, you could even do these as little party favors. How awesome is that? I think, actually, I think I have an idea. Speaking of party favors. So anyways, that's it. And then the back, isn't that so cute? Handmade just for you by. And I went ahead and put my name. And then this is just a blank date. I went ahead and filled in the date myself since so a blank date so just so you'll know remember I told all of you I have a little surprise for you well this little image here handmade just for you by and this little date and there's another one as well this will be offered to the first 100 customers for free did you hear that everybody f-r-e-e -E, free <laughs> I wanted to do something special because I'm not sure if any of you are aware, but it is National Stamping Month this month for the month of September. And I also wanted to do something special for you because a lot of you waited so patiently. You waited two weeks for um, when I had sold out of my gift card die last release. Everybody was so patient and so sweet about it, so I wanted to do something extra special as well in um, you know, in addition to this National Stamping Month. So I decided to offer this as a free rate, freebie. Now, remember when, a little, I'm not sure if all of you, a few of you might have been with me since I first started um, coming out with my stamps. I did offer, offer exclusive stamps. Um, and then once my 75 customers got them for free, you never saw them again. Well, this one came out so super duper cute that I thought I would offer them for sale. So, and you'll know you're not part of the 100 customers is when you see it on the product page. So, like, don't email me, say, hey, you know, this, I thought I was part of the 100. My mother's going to tally them, like she did the last time. She's going to tally them, and as soon as they reach my 100 customers, you know, reach that point, then I'm going to go ahead and put it on my product page, and I will offer this. It's a little stamp set. Offer it to you at, um, for a decent price, okay? So, anyways... That's that one, and I'm going to actually show you the other one right now. I didn't show it to you. It was the back of this card. Oh, before I forget, this, the date, fits perfectly into the oval stitch die. So if you have not um, purchased the over, oval stitch die, that one goes with it perfectly. And here goes the other one, handmade just for you. Now the reason why, and you can see I signed it, I don't know, I am the type that if I give a card, to a family member or a friend, I'd rather sign it in the back only because it's a little bit more personal. I do have a stamp that has my name on it as well, but that's what I usually do when I sell my cards. And this one, I don't know, I just think it's more personal to me. So this one will fit perfectly into the scallop and stitch circle die. Just so you'll know, I have everything in stock right now, so I'm so super excited. These just came in today, so I am so happy. Um, so anyways, this fits perfectly into the scallop and, scallop and stitch die, and that will look pretty behind your card. You don't have to pop it up like I did. You could just do it flat. I just, I popped it up by accident. So anyways, those are my two projects. Aren't these adorbs? Oh my god, I love these so, so much. So anyways, I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to use those dies. Okay, let me grab my cuddle bug. Before we do the cuddle bug action here, I'm going to go ahead, I'm using a little book this time, I can't find my little dirty cushy, I'm telling you, you don't, I, my room is such a mess right now, it's redonkulous, I've been crafting away, haven't had time to clean it, so anyways, I'm just using a red piece of cardstock, I don't want you to get thrown off by this, by all the colors here, but this is red here, and this is one of the background stamps that come with it, 
comes with four different ones and they are two by two and this is the way I highly recommend you use this um, kit it's called again build a banner kit okay this is how I do it I just turn it around ink it up make sure you have a juicy little ink pad there and I'm using this archival ink here by Ranger from um, Mr. Cricut Crazy from his store I love this stuff because look how beautiful it stamps I mean, it stamps so perfect, you never, I don't know, I never have to go over it again, you know what I'm saying? See, how awesome is that? And you know what? It has a lot to do with my awesome manufacturer who manufactures my stamps. Okay, so basically, you what you want to do is stamp your paper first before you run it through the cuddle bug. And I will tell you why. So let me grab my cuddle bug really quick. All right, excuse my little messy, my little messy little thing here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that on top of there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just turn it around like so. Okay, and then I'm just going to run it through here. Now, I always like to put an extra piece of paper on here just to give it a little bit more. Um, so you, I don't know, it just, I just love doing that. I always have, so... I'm just going to run it back again. We're just going to go ahead and cut them all out really quickly first. Okay. So, here goes our first seed. Now, you can see this. Oh, God, this looks like a little ladybug, huh? Isn't that beautiful? God, I'm so excited. Look how pretty that is. You see how beautiful the stitching comes out perfectly? Okay, that's the first one. And then we're going to go ahead and run through the little star. Okay, I'm going to use some black cardstock. And this is the little star. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. Okay, so that's going to go there. And let me grab this again. I only like to use that little extra piece of paper when I have stitching involved or embossing. This will cut fine. You know what I'm saying? If you just do it just like this. Because this is a cut only. Remember, like I said, it's only a cut because I didn't want to OD on the stitching. <laughs> All right, so look at how pretty that is. Isn't that so cute? When I was playing with these... Okay, so this is the little circle. Now this has the stitching, like I told you, okay? So that, we're just going to go ahead and run that through really quickly here. And all of these new stamps will... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Put this through here. Remember I told you I like to put this through when I have um, something with stitching in there. Okay. Um, all of... Everything that you're seeing here on my blog this week, Sneak Peeks, they're all available. They, they'll all be available for purchase on Friday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? OMG, I love my stuff. Okay, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. Okay, here goes our three little pieces right there. And what you want to do, and the cool part about this, as you could see... Um, you remember the card that I just got through showing you? These letters here are from the um, Any Day Bingo and Crossword. Okay? You see how the way I designed this set, everything kind of meshes together. Okay? So this is the entire alphabet that you get with the Any Day Bingo and Crossword, which fits perfectly, and I did that on purpose, into the little circles of the banner. How cool is that? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and just pop both of these up. I'm not going to put a little, I'm not going to stamp a, um, a letter in the circle this time. I'm going to do something different. This is going to go, <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Okay, and then this is just going to go in the center. How pretty that is. Okay, and then what I was thinking, do something different. I'm going to throw a button on there instead of a letter. A letter or an image. I figure because I actually have something in mind what I want to make with this. You could even do that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a button. I mean, a, a letter or whatever. Isn't that so cute? I'm using my trendy twine. Now, how perfect is that? Isn't that beautiful? I am so proud of this. I'm so super excited about this. Sorry, for, excuse my little inky fingers. 
Isn't that so cute? So I'm so happy about this release, everybody. I'm so happy about this release, everybody. I hope you love it as much as I do. And I am so looking forward to tomorrow for you to see the entire release, okay? And remember I told you earlier about this right here, how this date fits into the oval stitch die? This is it right here, okay? Oh, sorry. Did I do that too quick? This is it right here. The oval, the stitched oval die fits that blank date into it perfectly, which will be cool on scrapbooks or whatever you wanted to do it for. All right, everybody. I'm so sad again. This is the last day, but I'm so excited because, oh my God, we are going to have some awesome stuff for you tomorrow. Spreading the news about this release, and I promise you, whoever gets picked is going to have, is going to be super duper happy because because I have some great prizes for you, okay? So anyways, don't forget, check out my designer's blogs, and I will see you all back here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., and that's the time all of the stamps will be available for purchase, okay, everybody? Have a great day. Bye-bye.